in this question it's given that the displacement of an object is proportional to square of time and we have to ascertain whether uh, the object moves with uniform velocity uniform acceleration increasing acceleration or decreasing acceleration so uh, in this question we'll be using uh, whatever equation of motions knowledge we have so let's just write down the first or the equations of motions which we know and uh, the first equation of motion is given by v is equal to u plus a t where v uh, uh, let us first write down all the equations and then we'll explain what are the terms in this and then second equation is s is equal to u t plus half a t squared and then third equation is third equation is v square is equal to u square plus 2 a s where v happens to be final velocity final velocity of the object moving in a straight line so all these equations hold for an object which is moving in a straight line like that right so it, let's say at t equals to 0 the initial velocity was u and at t equals to t the final velocity is v this is the distance s or displacement s covered during this time t and it was move all through the motion it was moving with a uniform acceleration a okay so i'm again writing u is, is u is equal to initial velocity s happens to be the displacement displacement covered and a is acceleration acceleration this these three equation hold for uniform acceleration now so it's uh, it's the, what is the objective of the question it's ask it is asking us displacement of an object is proportional to square of time so you can clearly see that here by equation number 2 if you see this you can see s is equal to u t plus half a t square okay and this is proportional to square of time if you see s is directly proportional to p square from this question so hence this is possible only when it is moving with uniform acceleration what was the assumption in this equation the equation assumption is a is constant only then we can arrive at this particular equation so hence uh, clearly in this case s is directly proportional to p square so the answer would be b that is uniform acceleration now uh, what would be the case in case of uniform velocity if let's say uh, let's explore the option a in case of uniform velocity the uh, uh, in case of uniform velocity my a will be zero so a is zero so putting a is zero in the second equation i can get s is equal to only ut right which in this case s is directly proportional to t and not t squared this is the case of uniform uniform velocity so the in from the in uh, through the entire journey the body is moving with uniform velocity u 